On August 14, 1980, two teens were shot by the police in Longmont. The city was outraged and no voices were heard louder in their demands for justice than of the Hispanic community. El Comité was formed by the Latino people as a means to bring advocacy to Longmont's Latino population and beyond. Spearheading this movement was Marta Moreno, a wife, mother, and activist. Already well known in the community for her activism as chairperson of her church, Marta started a fund for the young men and helped to organize a march to city council and candlelit vigil. The protesters came with 1,000 names on a petition and let it be known that relations between the police and the public needed reform. We walked with a candle vigil down to city council to address city council about some of the issues that are going on in the city of Longman. We wanted to be the voice and wanted to have a, a community that was uh, that we all would feel welcome and part of. But there are new officers that are coming into the community. They come and we give them an orientation. We sit together and talk about what's our role. And they say, we understand you're out there to do law enforcement. We're here to do the social work. So whenever you stop somebody that has no license, no insurance, or the window is broken or lights or whatever, please refer them to us. We will help you so people are in compliance of what they need to do. Today, 30 years later, Marta Moreno continues to dedicate her life to members of the Latino community and beyond. We do case management, uh, information referral, advocacy, translation, interpretation. They feel comfortable. This is like a, a safe place for them that they have built trust. They know that we are going to be directing them to the right place because word of mouth travels because we ask them, how did you hear from us? You know, how do you know about us? You know, or a tia, a tío, hermano, hermana, brother, sister, a neighbor, or a teacher, or even the officers, which we are grateful for that, which means they are also believing in what we do. Every Thursday morning, a food truck comes to El Comité's back doors and volunteers distribute boxes of food to anybody who has come to use one of El Comité's many services. When they come for us to give them a, a, an assistance, we give them this little paper. So on Thursdays, they can come at 9.30 and we have volunteers, really good volunteers, very devoted. They come and when the truck arrives here at 8 o'clock, we have the volunteers already waiting for that truck to unload and bag them, put them in bags with milk and everything. So they're up front, they come in, they sign in, and then they show us their, their paper because it's good for three months. And the only way we can renew it is because uh, we've seen you again. So you're able to come for your, for your bag of food dispensary, then you can come to our learning sessions, which is gonna benefit you. It's gonna benefit you to learn and educate of what's going on. We help them to become self-sufficient to learn and become self-sufficient. And from that learning process, they are able to help their loved ones or anybody else. Marta is always looking for ways to unite the community. Every year, she hosts a film series featuring diverse films in hopes to breed understanding. We're dealing now with the issue of, of, uh, of uh, what's going on in Arizona. We don't want it to come here. And it's because there's a fear of the unknown. With those films, we try, the intent is to bring them into a dialogue so they can understand what is going on because they're hearing from first-hand people that are here that are already legalized with a permanent residence, U.S. citizens, or in the process. They're not here to become a public charge. They're not here to take jobs away. They're not here, they're not paying taxes. They're honest people, people that we don't know, you know, and we need to understand instead of criticizing. If someone wants to help, you know, uh, our organization, we welcome anybody. Come and do what we what we do and get to know the people. You know, we tell them if you want to learn Spanish, don't take a class. Come and volunteer with us. When you do those things, you know, even if it's so little, you know, you feel nothing but gratifying. I always believed in the that if you want peace, you work for justice, because we have to act on things. Because if without actions, there are no miracles.